Taking great photos doesn't mean you need to travel far. Today, we're gonna practice our long exposure photography skills right in the comfort of our own home. We'll go over what to shoot, gear, and how to achieve your goals with the correct settings. But first, let's go back to basics. What is long exposure photography? Long exposure photography is the style of photography using a long duration shutter speed to create blur in moving objects like clouds, waterfalls, and light trails. But before we head out to remote locations to do this, we're gonna practice in our own home using the surroundings around us. We'll use a DIY water feature, the nature around us, and we'll try out some light painting. I'll be using the Sony a6000 with two kit lenses, the 55 to 210, the 16 to 50, and the higher end 16 to 35 f2.8 G Master. When shooting long exposure photography, the first thing you have to do is find your moving object. So let's look around. Look for any flowing water. I'll be using this DIY water feature here with the water pump, but you can use anything from a hose to a sprinkler. Since I'll be using the 55 to 210, I'll be able to frame up just the rocks and the water to create a perfect waterfall. When shooting long exposure photography, the goal is to be able to use the longest speed duration while making sure the photo is not too bright. So we'll start with using an ISO 100. Followed by, we'll use an f-stop of about f22 if your camera will allow it to make sure the full frame is in focus and your photo is really dark. And now we'll test out different shutter speeds. If the sun is too bright and you have an ND filter, this would be a good time to use it to be able to use an even longer shutter speed. Pro tip, use a shutter remote like this fellow here to avoid any on-camera movement, which will give you the best results. Building a bonfire is a fun way to hang out with friends, but it's also a great way to practice your long exposure photography. So let's build a bonfire and take some photos. This is where the shutter remote comes in handy. But if you don't have a shutter remote, use a self timer like about two seconds to give yourself enough time to press the button and not interrupt the camera. Just because it's dark out, it doesn't mean you can't keep photographing. Light painting is a super popular way to get artistic and unique shots. Your light painting tool can be something as simple as your cell phone flashlight. Since it's pitch black out, but I want only my letters to show up, I'll be sticking to an ISO of 100, my aperture at about f8, and my speed duration will be between 15 and 20 seconds, just enough time for you to write your letters. But remember, when you're writing your letters, you have to either write backwards or in post, flip your photo horizontally. All right, let's get started, lights out. Practicing long exposure photography is the perfect way to get to know your in-camera settings and mastering manual mode. And now next time you go on that road trip, you're ready to take that perfect shot. Tag us in all of your long exposure photos and let us know if you'd like to see more videos like these in the comments below. I'm Maria and thanks for watching.